Hey everyone, I am back and I'm back wearing a Christmas-esque jumper. How cool is that? So what I'd like to do today is talk about the Apple Mac Mini and talk about whether you should maybe consider some alternatives. There's a lot of alternative solutions out there. I think there's going to be more out there in 2025. So this is the M4 Mac Mini. It came out a few months ago and I bought this at launch and I think this as a fantastic little computer, especially with the base model, I think it offers tremendous value for money. You get a lot of power, you, you get 16 gigabytes of memory for once in the base model, Thunderbolt 4, and you can upgrade it to Thunderbolt 5 and get the Pro chip and all that. But I think the base model here at 600 bucks or even below that, you can get it cheaper from uh, third party companies. I think it offers tremendous value for money. So it's a great computer and it's one that I can recommend. And one of the reasons that I bought it is because, well, I'm considering or at least looking at reviewing the option of maybe moving from my big Windows PC to perhaps like a Mac Studio or something in the future. And this was a great way to dip my toes back into the world of Apple. And it's, you know, it's a great computer in its own right. And I might keep it for, you know, other purposes. But it got me thinking, you know, is Apple the best option? Is the Mac Mini the best option? And the fact is there's a lot of great solutions out there and there's a lot of good little computers that you can consider. Now, little computers or tiny computers is not something that's new, um, even before uh, NUX came out. So, you know, there was a lot of kind of small PC builds coming out. But I think when Intel came out with their NUC computers, which is, as you can see, next unit of computing, it really did change the game and we saw this kind of flood of many PCs in the market, these little small portable computers. Intel pulled out of that market uh, two years ago, 2023, but we still see a lot of other computers selling these NUC style computers. And I've been looking at these types of computers a lot over the last few months. And, you know, with the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, going on, um, th there's been a lot of announcements of other little mini PCs. You can see here's, uh, Asus have introduced this RTX 5080 based uh, NUC, as they're calling it. And yeah, there's a lot of great solutions like that that are coming. And I think these are really interesting. And I think they are maybe solving problems that you that are not being solved with a Mac Mini. For example, these NUCs might be more suitable for gaming, for one. And there's a lot of great solutions out there. I love, you know, like this one from B-Link. They sell like a NUC little computer, but it also works with external graphics cards. And that's one area, you know, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the whole Windows versus Mac debate, but whereas uh, Apple Mac supported eGPUs in the past, I, I'm not sure they offer as great support anymore because obviously they're trying to get you to invest in their graphics system. But... Certainly, if you're in the Windows world and you've got a small computer, one of the options you have is to use an eGPU. So it's, there's a lot of cool solutions out there. But one thing that really caught my eye recently was a few weeks ago, and it was this. The Nevison GX06 Mini PC, and just look at it. I mean, you could say that they've been inspired by the Apple Mac Mini, but I think... I think it's more realistic to say that they've just copied the design. Um, so th this has been sold in Banggood, some other uh, Chinese marketplaces as well. And it's got an i9-12900H, DDR5, PCI Express 4. But it, it was really the, the design of it that really caught my attention, the fact that it's effectively copying the... Um, is copying the design of the Apple Mac Mini. That I mean, it's they're making no qualms about it. They've got the fan at the bottom that's kind of iconic now for the new uh, Mac Mini. So it's quite interesting, uh, and we're seeing a lot of other uh, competitors and clones out there doing the same thing. I don't think this is personally better than the Mac Mini. I know it's got an RTX forty fifty, I think, but I, I don't think this is better than a Mac Mini. Eight hundred bucks, I would still go towards the Mac Mini, but. Again, what I think Apple are doing with the Mac Mini this year, they're kind of forcing a lot of other companies to raise the bar. And I think what they've done is show a lot of other companies that there is a market for small computers. So we might see more kind of portable computers like this over the next year or so. Perhaps they'll be powered by kind of like laptop style CPUs, or maybe they'll have like an eGPU setup. But 
it's quite interesting and I think we're going to see a lot more products like this being rolled out in 2025. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think about these Mac Mini clones or, and you know, maybe a better way to put it would be Windows Mac Mini alternatives. Let me know what you think about it. I think for some people, you know, a, a Windows equivalent of a Mac Mini might suit them better, perhaps because they game or perhaps because they're using an application that isn't supported on Apple. Maybe they just don't like Apple. I'm all for choice. I really do like my Mac Mini. I'm not going to sell it. And even if I do decide to stay with Windows for my main computer, I'm still going to keep a toe in the world of Mac OS. I do love this computer, but in some circumstances, maybe a Windows alternative is better. And and like for me personally, I, I can switch between both platforms, but I know from a recording point of view with some of my, like my capture cards, for example, they work better with Windows. There's more options. They're just, you know, they've got better compatibility, but it's quite good. I think it's interesting seeing all of these alternative options out there. I'm still keen to see what Apple do with the Mac Studio. And I'm hoping there's a new version this year that's got the new M4 chip, maybe an M4 Ultra or something. But there's no getting away from the fact that Apple got a very restricted pricing model. You pay a lot more for additional storage, additional memory, and that's maybe what will swing a lot of people back to Windows to get more value. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you'll stick with the Mac Mini or whether you're maybe considering looking at one of these alternative NUCs or one of these alternative Windows computers. I'll leave links to all of these articles. Please do check them out. I think a kind of interesting computers. But yes, until next time, guys, take care.